here to talk about conditional events, basically two things combined to make an event. If I right click here in my logical view, you can see I have no choice for a conditional event, so we have to install it first. But before we actually install it, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things in the release notes. You can see it was an add-on that we added in July. Let's go ahead down a little bit further here and take a look. Table of contents, installation, privileges, uninstalling, very, very basic stuff. Let's take a look at the preface here, though. This is the reason for it. We're here today to try to come up with an event that only fires when two different things either occur within a certain time or without a certain period of time. Notice, got to have a Latitude 8 system for this feature. For the installation, you can see it does need to be installed on all directory machines, including failover. Here's a little note about that. Uh, and all admin center machines as well. Now, once you install the plugin itself, you want to follow the wizard and then restart all of these services on the Latitude machine. So let's go ahead now and launch our conditional events plugin. It's quite simple to do. I haven't even speeded up the installation because it doesn't take more than maybe 15 or 20 seconds once you go ahead and start it, as you can see I've done. And we give it another couple of seconds. It should be finished here. But we want to be able to choose something that allows us to be a little more granular in our alerting functions, i.e., you know, this thing happens and then that thing happens, or this thing happens and then that does not happen. Let's go ahead and restart our services here in Latitude. And then once those are started back up, we can go ahead and launch Admin Center to our directory. Once Admin Center is open up, we're going to go right back to our logical view and see that now in the system menu, if I right click, we do have a conditional event now listed. So let's go ahead and try it. Now once this comes up, you can see at the very top, we're just going to name it something. And I've got something set up so you can understand the concept itself quite simply. This is just going to be called the on-time login alert, you know, or on-time login conditional event. And it's going to be specifically for my IT department and you'll see them listed here uh, once we get this set up. So that's basically the name of it. Now keep in mind, right here under the conditions, there's two different things. These two things must either be within or you know, happening outside of this particular time period and in order according to the checkbox. Now if I were to uncheck it, of course, then if these two things happen within that time period or without that time period, uh, it would work. So let's go ahead for this example. We're going to check our other event must not occur, right? So, uh, and we're going to keep the checkbox in order. So we're going to start with the top one, but let's set a time period here of say, you know, if the first one happens and the second one does not happen, right, within 600 seconds, our only choice for a parameter. So that's 10 minutes. So we're just going to go here to the event type or the entity type, and you can see there's a number of things I can choose, but I'll choose my timer I have set up. And you can see right here, daily 8 p.m., if you look over in the tree on the left, right above the conditional event is that timer. And we're just going to say, uh, you know, the event type when this timer elapses. So every day at 8 p.m., that's the first condition. Now, the second condition I'm going to use right here, again, a number of things that I could tie to this, including another conditional event. I'm going to choose user. And here's my IT department, Jack, Jan, Jill, Jim, and Joe. And uh, just for an example, we'll start with Jack. We'd have to repeat this for others if we wanted everybody to have this. And we're just going to choose when Jack logs in. Now, if you see the logic of the statement, it's basically saying uh, the timer's going to go off at 8. And if Jack does not log in before 600 seconds you know, after that timer goes off, well, then we have a problem. So let's go ahead and just save this now. But all this is is a conditional event that we have set up. We could copy configuration and maybe do Jim, Jen, and Jill. Uh, but for right now, there's still another thing we need to do, and that is tie it to an action, right? Just so we can bring our events in as we're normally familiar with. And this one is condition met, right? Both of those two logic statements combined together. We're going to right-click the condition met. You could choose any number of things. But for this example, we're going to choose trigger alarm. And under my alarm types, I have a failed to log in alarm. I'll move it over to the attached items and make it happen always and save the event. Now, if I repeated this and did it with all the other people in the IT department, I would assure myself that if anybody did not log in within the 10-minute time parameter, I would be alerted to it.